Lance, with the D-hop trade and then the ensuing town hall meeting with Bill O'Brien and Cal and Jack Easterby and all the unrest about D-hop, you think that Cooks maybe was – that trade was a little reactionary with all of the backlash? I, I think it was part reactionary in terms of we need to replace the player. Maybe not so much, well, the fan base is upset. I think it really is re- reactionary – in terms of we lost this player, so now we need to add another player so we can win as many games in 2020. All he's doing is managing the team for 2020. That's all Bill O'Brien's doing, like a coach would do. He's general managing like a coach would. All I care about is 2020. Nothing's promised in 2021. I could get fired in 2021, so what do I care about 2021? Because you're the general manager. Um, but I do think that some of it is reactionary from a football standpoint. I don't think I don't think they care what you think, what I think, what anyone thinks. I don't think they make moves based on that. Okay, so they can get out of this Brandon Cooks contract after this year. It's eight million this year, but there's no dead cap money. Oh, they a did. second round rental. A second round rental. Which is just amazing to me. Now, some would say, well, okay, there's no OTAs, and a lot of coaches have said this. No OTAs, no mini camps. I don't have time to get a, a young guy ready. Uh, that's why Diggs is in Buffalo. Their GM said there's no wide receiver out there that could be ready like Stefan Diggs is. I get that. But, but, but you need some young guys that are going to be at a value. And a second round wide receiver that produces would be so much more valuable than a Brandon Cooks at eight and 12 and 12 and 12. Yeah, in the long run, you're right. Now, in the short term, I think there is value if Brandon Cook stays healthy and doesn't have concussion issues. Brandon Brandon Cooks is going to help you potentially win some games. Randall Cobb can help you win some games. You know, from a football standpoint, offensively, you could be similar to what you were last year when you were healthy. But come see me in two years because in two years, I think it's going to look drastically different. If you're building towards a championship, you're not – You're not a championship team this year, no matter what you do. So if you're building towards a championship, the second and third and fourth year, they do matter. And I think the Texans haven't done anything to build towards a championship. They've just built so that they can manage 2020. That's not the way you build a championship team. 